back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm here at my husband's uh, workplace and, well, where he works, and we're I'm going to be cooking in the travel trailer today. So we've got a couple recipes I'm going to share with you, and one of them is going to be absolutely delicious. Over in the crock pot here I have my uh, corned beef, and I'm, I'm going to show you how I do this. I used a flat for this recipe, and I'm doing corned beef this year two different ways, and this is actually going to be a delicious sandwich corned beef. And so what I've done is I used uh, an idea from one of my YouTube people, um, Cupcat Recipes. She did a corned beef recipe the other day, and I thought, oh, that sounded so good. So I put my own spin on it, but um, we're going to roast, slow roast this corned beef with kind of like a rub. And so... The rub part is brown sugar and a mustard, and you'll have to wait and see what kind. Anyway, um, I hope this inspires you to stay along. Maybe give me a thumbs up along the way. Go down in the description box below and look at my Wild Tree website. Uh, you can go shop for all natural products, maybe become a uh, rep yourself, and get that discount every time you shop, which is nice. I sure enjoy it. And um, use some all-natural, all all-organic product in your household. So. That being said, right next to that is my Facebook page, and then go further down into the comment section, and I'll post some videos that I might want you to go see that you might not have watched yet. All right, guys, let's go make some of this corned beef a different way. All right, guys. Okay, so I'm really glad you stayed for this. I've got this beautiful corned beef, and this is a Harris Ranch seasoned corned beef brisket. Um, it's a mild cure. But this is the type of beef, this is the brand of beef that I buy um, because it's all natural, no hormones, no nothing. They don't, um, they don't feed their cows hormones or antibiotics. So um, at least I'm doing the best by my family. And this really was reasonably priced. It was $3.59 a pound. I think Costco's brand and a lot of other brands were up to $3.99 a pound. Um, and I just, I don't see a need. But as you can see, the brisket does have some fat going through it. And the difference between a brisket and a um, flat, well, a flat or a round or a point um, is the fat content. A point is very, very fatty and you end up with very little meat and a lot of fat. Um, the brisket has a lot of fat running through it to make it tender, um, but it's not as, it's not as lean as a round. So for our um, today we're going to use this flat and I'm going to show you one way to cook it. I'm going to take it out of the package, wash it off and pat it dry and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got it all washed and it's got that nice layer of fat going through here and marbling all the way through the fat cap on the other side. I'll show you. I cut it off. It was, it wasn't super thick, but I just don't need it. If this didn't have that marbling and stuff, then I'd probably go ahead and use it. But that being said, we are going to get started and I am going to um, use this Jack Daniels horseradish mustard and we're gonna get messy because I don't have a choice um, I'm gonna put some down I want to coat the whole outside of this you could use Dijon but I love horseradish and really strong mustards with um, corned beef and so we're gonna do it this way and we're going to go ahead then and coat the top with brown sugar. Oh my gosh, does that sound good or what? So you're just going to get some down, crumble it down over that. Mm. Yum. And on the sides, you're going to need a fresh container of brown sugar. And don't, don't cheap out on this. It's going to really make this a delicious corned beef. It just sounded so good to me. Other side with the mustard. And then we're going to... And we'll have the rest of this um, jar of mustard or container of mustard for sandwiches. How good does that sound? Okay, some more brown sugar. And I'm going to cook this. I'm going to bake this in my crock pot. Um, I've got brownies in the oven, and I've, oh, and there goes too much brown sugar. Let's get rid of some of that. Um, 
I've got brownies in the oven and then later I'm going to have a rack of ribs in there and so I'm not going to have room. It's a little tiny travel trailer oven and it just isn't going to have the room that I would require for both of these. So we're going to see how our little crock pot does doing that. Let me wash my hands really quick. All right now last but not least and I don't want to leave this out because I really think it's important. We don't need any salt. It has salt in the cure. Um, notice that this didn't come with the curing package so I didn't have to throw away or a seasoning package. I don't have to throw away a seasoning package. Um, this one was a mild season so I think it'll actually take up this easier than the ones that um, are heavily seasoned. Okay and that's really it. Some cracked black pepper. And what I've done here is I have heavy duty foil. You don't want thin light foil. Three sheets of heavy duty foil here and I'm just going to move my corned beef over a little bit. Move over. Put that brown sugar up there. Ugh, I can't wait for this. Okay. And you're going to bring your two sides together. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So bring these together and you're just going to fold them up and really seal this up tight. We want any juices that might come out of this corned beef to stay in this foil packet. Try not to poke any holes in it along the way. And you know I normally don't cook with foil but I don't feel like um, well, I don't really have a choice right now, and um, I think this will be just fine. So there we go. We're going to go ahead and seal everything up. I'm going to get it in the crock pot, put it on, well, I'm going to put it on high for an hour or so, and then I'm going to put it back down to low and just let it use that as an oven. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got it here on top of my stove, the burners, the lid comes down to cover the burners, and... I've got it sitting here for now. Later, if I have to, I can actually even move it outside because most of the plugs are taken by computers, TVs, coffee pots, you know, the normal. <laughs> anyway, um, there's not there's only one plug here in the kitchen area, and this is it. So I've got the foil packet. It's right down in there. I turn this on high. It's going to get up to speed. I'll probably keep it on high for oh, maybe half hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll turn it back down on low and just let it go. I'm not even going to worry about this. Now, if I was going to do this at home, I would put it in um, the oven. I would put it in the oven. Somebody asked me, they said they had the same crock pot, and did it matter if they cl clamp the lid down? I think you get a tighter seal, but I don't think it matters. It's still going to cook. So, and... I don't, I'm not going to look at this. I'm not going to open the lid until I'm ready to take it out. Okay, so I'll be back when we're doing that. How about that one? Okay, so I can't tell you how delicious this smells. This whole trailer smells fabulous. And I've got the windows open and I can just smell that mustard and almost catch a hint of sweet. But I'm going to pull this out of the crock pot and go ahead and let it rest. I'm gonna open up the package so it can actually rest a little bit, you know, let some of the steam out, let this rest a little bit, and then we'll cut into it and I'll show you what we've got. This has been in the crock pot for about, um, I changed my mind on the setting. I put it in here on high. I figured all those layers of foil, it would take a while to get um, heated up. So I kept it on high for five hours and we're ready to eat. Let's see what we got for sandwiches. Come on. Okay guys, so here's this beautiful corned beef that's had time to rest. I poured off all the juice. It really rendered a lot of its own liquid. And now I'm just gonna pick the whole thing up and put it on my cutting board. I feel like we've got enough rest time that we can do that. There was a little bit of juice in the bottom of the crock pot as well. And it's kind of, you know, it's sticky and, and uh, but it was really easy to clean up. So I would say this is an easy cleanup. So I hope you can see this. Let's zoom in a little bit. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to have this with sandwiches. Or just by itself. Come on.
let's zoom in. Okay, so you want to cut against the grain. Um, oh, look at that. Oh, it's tender and delicious. Well, I don't know about delicious yet, but I'm guessing this brisket, this corned beef brisket is going to be amazing. It's juicy and if I was at home and I had my really sharp knives, I'd be I'd be styling. Cuz I'm going to slice this whole thing up for sandwiches. Um, you don't need to see me do that, but, oh, does that look good? Look at that. We may have to have a taste test right now. I'm just saying. Because I don't, I don't know if I can stand it any longer. Isn't that gorgeous? That corned beef just smells, looks, and screams delicious. So let's take a bite. And then I'll let you go, because I know you guys want to go make your own corned beef. Because St. Patty's Day is Sunday. We're, we're running out of time. All right. So I've got my bite here. Mmm. Delicious. I don't know. I might want another squirt of mustard. But let's, let's see how this tastes right here before we go adding anything. And then I'll give you my honest opinion of how this came out. Mmm. Wow, that is so tender and moist and juicy. Everything you'd want a corned beef to be. You have that sweet hint. It's not overly sweet because I'm not an overly sweet. I like sweet and spicy, but um, it's not overly sweet. And then you have that background of a little bit of horseradish and the definite mustard flavor in there that just sends this piece of corned beef right over the top. I just, I don't even know if you can see how tender and delicious and juicy that is. It really is. It hits, huh, it hits home. Exactly what we are, what we wanted. I hope this inspires you. Hold on. I'm going in for another bite. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that <laughs> is so good. <laughs> And it's not overly salty or seasoned like some of the corned beefs are really heavily seasoned and we didn't want that because of this recipe. So I'm going to grab another fork. I'm going to keep on slicing and we're going to get to making sandwiches for after St. Patty's Day because I don't know if there'll be any left of my braised corned beef and cabbage. You'll have to stay tuned for that because it will be phenomenal. All right, guys. As always, I hope I get a thumbs up if you like this. If you really like it, go post it on your Facebook page. And you know what? Share it with your friends because this was a great recipe. It was shared with me, and I now shared it with you. And um, it's another way to make corned beef. And I'm going to have some videos coming up on how to use your home canned corned beef because I canned a bunch of it last year. So I'm going to start using it up and giving you recipes along the way. All right, guys. As always, hope to see you next time.